festive avocado what's up it's your boy festive avocado and you're about to watch a vibe i hope you enjoy it and i hope that you can leave a like subscribe maybe go follow my twitch follow my twitter follow all my social medias you know and enjoy if he knew about that then he was in my group during the first experiment i'm sure of it yeah definitely. he wouldn't kill us he doesn't recognize the voices. No matter what the situation was. Hmm. Hey, uh, Snake? Yes, I know. You want to know what happened during yeah, the experiment? Yeah, motherfucker? Yeah. How much do you know? Someone died. Clover told me about... I see. The morphogenetic field in the experiments nine years prior. How the experiments had taken place simultaneously at two locations. Do you think one being the ship this and the other being with a building with us all being able to like read each other's minds or some shit, like some insane, stupid bullshit? And the girl that died during the experiment. She told you all that, did Sorry, she? Sorry, I'm texting about plans for this weekend and I want to like hmm. answer it on a timely manner. At any rate. I now know how much you've learned. All that remains for us to determine... God. ...is who did this and why, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you tell me what happened? Yes. The people who organized the initial experiment were from a company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Ace is the... CEO there were four of, of them running the show. Yes. Gentaro Hongo. Yep. Nagisa Nijisaki. Mm -hmm. Teruaki Kubota. Mm -hmm. Kagechika Musashido. Mm -hmm. Hongo was the CEO Ace. of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Is that what the captain looked like? Nijisaki was his right hand man this and was... did the lion's share of the planning. Wait, 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 wait. Ace, Man X, Captain, the Ninth Man. Kubota led the company's That's research the and man. development division. Whoa, okay. Musashido was their majority stockholder. It was these four people who planned the initial experiment. So whoever is zero knows all of this. And via these two people back, yeeted the, he yeeted him to be safe. And these people just got fucking killed just straight up, like, as a message, I guess. The fuck with him, probably. Because if he saw, he saw that body, he was with us, right? Ace was with us, and he saw this, and was like, oh, my God, the cap, and whatever. Hmm. Let me simplify it for you. Interesting, okay. Hongo designed it, and Nijisaki put it all together. Who's Nijisaki again? Kubota developed the technology required, and Musashido provided the cash. Huh, so it's Hongo, Nijisaki, Kubota, Musashido. Of course, more than four people were required to conduct an experiment of this scale. To that end... They organized a top-secret team to assist them with their okay. research. All in all, they gathered ten people or so. Those ten completed their team, and they were able to begin the project. They named it the Nonary Project. The Nonary Project. The no, purpose the of the experiment of it. was to research the prospect of controlling a human mind through sheer will. The uh, vessel, I suppose you could say, for this control was the morphogenetic field. Okay. Huh. Why did the glycerin suddenly begin to crystallize? Why did the crystal structure of EDT undergo a sudden change? God, not this Why did shit. the rats improve their puzzle-solving skills with each generation? Experiments with humans produce the same results. So that makes sense why June's also a fucking wacko. She was in this. The more people who knew the answer to a question, the more there were who could answer correctly without having seen the problem before. Why is that? How could it happen? Hmm. The answer is that the shape of the answer has been stored in a field invisible to the naked eye. And through that field, the resonant event transmits information do related you, to that answer. Do you think that people like played this game and afterwards like started to believe this shit? That's essentially really into the idea it? behind morphogenetic fields. Do you think fields? like they're like, oh my god, this is so true, dude. Like this is so crazy. But that's like, just I a believe theory. it. Not just a theory. Can't it's bring real. yourself to believe it. Yeah. Let's say someone killed another person because the devil told them to do it. Whether the devil exists or not has no relevance to the murder. They yeah. believe the devil exists. Whether or not he does is immaterial. So what matters here is that Hongo believed in the morphogenetic field. 
That's right. But I still don't get it. You said they wanted to figure out true. how to control people, right? That is what you were saying. Yes. Well, they control people right now. What's so happening? So how are they going to do that with a morphogenetic field? I'll keep it simple. Let's suppose 10,000 people have solved a certain problem. The chance of you knowing that answer, even if no one has told you, will go up. I wish that was the case, because then I would have passed math a lot easier. Let's have another example, shall we? Say one million people were to do a handstand right now. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, the chances of you doing a handstand would be higher, even if you had heard nothing of this hypothetical mass handstanding. Mankind's thought process and actions are all part of a resonant event. All of the resonant events encoded in the fields are projected onto you. Of course, this assumes you believe in this theory. Do you follow so far? Sure. Yeah. Now, if there was a person who had the same effect as those millions of people, what would happen? It's been about 50 minutes and we're still not even close. I thought if that one hour, person I'm were to do so a handstand, mad. Other people would find themselves <laughs> wanting to do handstands as well. Can you imagine what a person with powers like that would be able to do? Come on, there's no way. I'm not done. Imagine another scenario. Imagine another person. This is an ordinary Honestly, person. At this point, kind of checked Let's out say to he to does a handstand. Okay. What if there was someone who could grab the resonant event he created by doing that and use it to make other people do handstands? What would happen then? I don't know, dude. Mm. This makes no sense. A person who has the power to write to the field, and someone who can read from the same. You could think of them as the writer and the reader, or the transmitter and the receiver. <laughs> what would the world be like if there were people with abilities like these? Hell. So the transmitter's resonant event can be transmitted through the field and sent to the receiver. And then the transmitter can control the receiver however they wish. That's what you're saying, right? Yes. Close enough, at least. Come on, that's just even, crazy. I don't even know what to say at this point. Well, if you want to prove this that, is... then you'll have to test it first. Fucking stupid. At least, that was how they thought. You know after we beat this game and reading reviews that for a little bit? That was why they decided to do their that. experiment. That was how the Nonary Project began. Just to see what people say. Say, By the say. way, Junpei? What? Have you ever heard of the Gansfeld experiment? No. No, I, I haven't. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. You place a pair Don't of subjects me. in separate rooms. Then you show one a picture and ask the other what they see. In theory, it is supposed to test for the existence of telepathy. Oh. So, why did you bring up the Gansfeld experiment? It was used to screen subjects for the Nonary Project. Oh, interesting. The hospital in a remote town was affiliated with Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Hongo used it to conduct experiments on visiting children in secret. Oh my Some God, of them, okay. he found, had potential. That also makes sense, because all these people are kind of younger, so that would make them um, nine years ago. Wouldn't make he them began kids. to gather children that showed promise. Everybody, children though. that seemed as though they might be able to access the field. Of course, none of them volunteered. Yeah, no shit. They were kidnapped. There were nine pairs of siblings taken. For 18 children total. Well, that wouldn't make sense for like seven Lotus. For reasons older. that were not fully understood at the time, each pair had one transmitter and one receiver. They were split perfectly. Okay, so it was all siblings. Santa. Oh, that does kind of make sense. Santa had a sister and had a picture he pulled out of his sister. Is she the one that died during the experiments, maybe? As such, the 18 children were split into two groups of nine. That doesn't explain Lotus, Snake, who else is The there? children who were Me, put into group June. Q were the ones who excelled at transmitting. They were transferred to the mock experiment building known as Building Q in the Nevada desert. So clover. The children who excelled at receiving were put in group A. Group A was then placed on the former hospital ship Gigantic. Mm -hmm. From the experiments he had conducted so far, Hongo had learned the following. There are two things that can increase one's resonance with the fields. The first is epiphany. epiphany the other is danger. The other is danger. Oh. Have you ever been faced with an especially difficult problem and thought about it very long and very hard until finally an answer suddenly appeared in your mind? Sure, I guess. It may seem obvious to say so, but that is what is meant by epiphany. 
The information obtained through that epiphany can be easily transmitted through the fields, where it can be easily interpreted. Adding danger to that equation allows for even easier field access. I know That's this. where Hongo came in. Cool. They set up a number of puzzles across the gigantic. Yes. The participants had to solve each one before they could move to the next room. Of course, he hadn't forgotten to include danger. The what? He had detonated a bomb on the hull of the gigantic. The Bruh. children in Group A were forced to play the nonary game as the ship sunk. Can By do. forcing the children into a life or death situation, Hongo hoped to increase the likelihood of their tapping into the fields. The children from Group Q, on the other hand, were confined to the mock experiment what building, I am... building Q. And I confused. Confused probably isn't the right word. Like, if Zero's like someone that's part of this experiment, Building Q oh, duplicated okay, cool. the interior and puzzles if of the gigantic. If Zero was exactly. somebody who was in these experiments before, I'm turning the volume down a little bit. Why would they make it life or death again? Like, I get it for maybe like the people that worked for the company, things like that. But like, why for the people who already suffered once? Why make them suffer again? You know. Every detail so was weird. exactly the same. Hongo explained the situation to the children in Group Q. Solve the puzzles you find throughout the rooms. When you have the answers, transmit that information to the children in Group A. If you succeed, they will be able to solve the puzzles and escape. But if you fail, then the gigantic will sink, and your brothers and sisters will drown. The fuck? Those were his orders. No, actually, that wouldn't make sense, then, if someone died with that group. Clover would recognize anybody in her group, so everybody that'd be here would have to be part of Snake's group, right? Do you know why the astronauts of Apollo 13 were able to return to Earth safely? Why? It was because NASA had access to a replica of the Apollo 13 capsule. All of the equipment, the instruments, mm -hmm. everything. Everything was just like the real Apollo 13. NASA was able to replicate the situation the astronauts found themselves in. I don't remember what happened in Apollo 13. By putting themselves in the same situation. Like, I, I don't, I don't know. Sorry. The fact. They attempted to solve the problems the astronauts were dealing with. Yeah, that makes sense. Once there. they found solutions, they reported their findings to the men aboard the actual yeah, capsule. Yeah, that makes sense, because they actually had, like, some sort of communication device, that not was their how brains. They were able to return safely. In case it was the, the same, same thing. with the gigantic yeah. and building Q. It's abused their mind powers. The children their mind from palaces. Group Q had to use the power of epiphany to solve the puzzles they found. Oh my god. And transmit what they learned through the fields. The children in Group A, however, they had to access the fields to learn how they might advance to the next stage. Mm -hmm. That is the simplest so explanation I can manage. Fucked up. Huh. Hey, Junpei, Snake! How much longer are you two gonna sit around on those bony asses? Damn, Get down here already! He's right. Let's go, shall we? We don't have much time. We need to get out of here and soon. Yeah, really did forever. Well, There's one more thing I want to ask you. shot right now. Hmm? Are you sure that there were 18 kids? Why? Well, I thought it was only 16. Oh, yes. That was what they said on the news, wasn't it? On the news? Yes. I have no doubt that 18 children were abducted and used in Hongo's experiment. So I bet you someone died and they either killed the other one or they died because their brains were connected. After all, you couldn't exactly play a nonary game with any less, could you? Well, yeah, but are you saying that the news got it wrong? Yes, I am. There were two more when, children. When did the news get into here? Do we hear about this on the news? However, they had no relatives that I'm aware of. I imagine no one filed a police report when they went missing. They were brother and sister, like Clover and I. The brother's name was Aoi. Is that not the girl's name? Okay. The sister's name was... Her name was... <laughs> her name was Akane. Let me get this straight. Akane was the girl that died. That was the girl who died. <laughs> Akane Kurashiki died? Nine years ago? Then, 
Who is Chun? No. No, 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 no. That, that's impossible. But you didn't say the last name, so how does he know that's Sai Sai Makane? I mean, I think Akane so. Makane isn't that uncommon of a name. If Snake had known her last name, that's a different matter entirely. So they share a name. A lot of other people do, too. It doesn't mean anything. It was someone else. Of course it was. It has to be. <laughs> that's what the nicknames, that's what they had for the nicknames and plot device there. Is something wrong, Junpei? Your breathing sounds strange. Oh, uh, no, it's it's nothing. I'm fine. Let's get back down there, all right? So did Akane <sighs> fake your death? What happened there? That's weird. I couldn't do it. Why didn't I ask? What's her last name? I just couldn't get the words to come out. Hmm. Okay, now what, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to grab this fucking book. What? Five, six? Yes, five. Fifth volume. Oh, big red button. Cool. Bleep. It's gonna open the door. What? It's not what I thought it would open. Thought it opened the door. Guess the fuck not. What is that? Metal door just for show? Uh... Okay. Up we go. What the fuck is this? What? Oh, that's probably a clue. Roman numerals. Oh god. What is this? Is X X is ten, so it'd be thirteen, fourteen, ten, thirteen. Okay, thirteen, fourteen, ten, thirteen. Oh. That means why well, baby typed me on the keyboard. Yep, you only enter letters. Looks like you only enter four letters. I have to add them all together. I don't fucking know. Um, okay. God, I've really testing my like, second grade knowledge. So if it's thirteen plus, oh, I'm gonna use a shut up. Stop texting me. Plus fourteen plus ten. 13, that only gets me 50, and that's not really four Roman numeral typees. What is 50 in Roman numerals? Actually, 50 in Roman numerals? It's just an L. Yeah, let's just drop the L. Okay. Um. What is Snake doing? These Roman numerals, if you convert them to Arabic numerals, you'll have 13, 14, yes, 10, and 13. True, but this keyboard only has letters, we only under four letters. Then why don't you just convert the numbers to letters? Oh. Numbers and wait. letters. But I don't can you look up with corresponding numbers. Perfect, okay. We found a chart. So, what is it, 13, W, 14, wait, no, what, dub, not W, what the fuck, sorry, clear, it's M, right, yeah, because it's going to M, N, J, is that 13 again, M, M, N, Kind of like the other one? What kind of other one? Come on, you remember the one in the captain's room. Or was it... Oh, wait, so it's... A, B, C... Wait, B would be... Maybe this would be D... E... A... E... Right? D... E... Oh. Ominous. Okay, cool. Yay! Don't like if I type in dead. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. Not at all. Which door? Okay. Okay, that one can't open. the other door. Yep. Of course I'm the idiot that puts in the wrong door. Of course. 
Found it! Okay, I'm changing the temperature. I don't know why it's so cold. Oh Alright, this is the next. Ah, oh, the door! Oh boy, it closed behind us. Did that just close on its own? Yeah. Don't tell me we can't go back. We can't. I don't know. Let's see. Did you leave anything important back there? Can't get it now. Damn it. It looks like it locks automatically. Is there any other way out? Well, oh, that's a lot of junk. There's another door over on the right. Jesus. There's a card reader next I to it. I think, though, this is the last room. It's got a red light on it, though, so I'm pretty sure it's locked, too. But there is a card reader, right? Sorry about that. Yeah. Then perhaps if we find a key card, we could open the door and leave? Well, yeah, that might work, but... Uh, hey! Wait a minute! What? Are you saying we're gonna have to search through this room for one little card? Yeah, this looks like a shithole. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Maybe there's clues, though, for the car base. I'm just in the, the garbage. <sighs> looks that way. No way! Yeah, what is all for this real? shit? This looks like all the things we've already seen before, like the mannequin head, got the dead... Uh, well, we can sit down and wait to die, if that's what you prefer. Honestly, oh, that's right, yeah, let's just die. I'd rather doubt Please. that, however. So it would be wise to start looking. We haven't much time. Let's find that key card. Oh, and the Neptune <coughs> as well. Sorry. We won't be able to get through the hallway without it. <sighs> <sighs> um, All right, then. Let's... Let's begin. This should be the last puzzle, I think. Let me look real quick. It's the last one. Is this the study? Yes, okay, this is the study. So that means this is the last fucking one. Let's a go. And then I think then we just get end game stuff and it's just all like dialogue. This is it. This is everybody. Ooh, wow, okay. Yep. B -b 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 -b. Piles of crap everywhere. Yeah, that smell looks familiar. It definitely does. That's true, then. This room could be either a laboratory. Yeah. I don't look at this stuff. Okay, cool. That's the map. Mm, medical table. New material. Computer monitors. CRT monitors. Table. Um, okay. Uh, buttons, press some button. Do, 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 do. Whoa. D plus six plus something equals A. Oh, God. This is terrifying, okay. Well, I'm gonna take my headband off, it's giving me a little bit of a headache. My bangs are gonna look a little funky, but that's okay. I'm gonna cut them anyways, they're getting way too long. It's not really even bangs anymore at this fucking rate, look at them. <laughs> I feel a little goober. Anyways. Um... So what? Oh, okay. One of these again. These I suck at actually doing. You just gotta, you gotta spam them until you get it. Ooh. A lot of all reds. Wow, this one's a bitch. Okay. No. Fucking Christ. I could be here all day. Uh, reset. Wiki! Um, God, there's so much I'm supposed to do in this room! Hexadecimal guy on general help page. 
tap the center box, and then top left, middle, right. Wow, just three. Just three of them have you done. Oh, God. What, what just came out? Cross emblem. God, this page has so much. Okay. So that was that one. I'll, I like trying to do this by myself. I don't like looking at the walkthroughs too much, but I also don't want to take fucking hours. Daring roll across, mysterious circle, and waffle. Okay. I got no idea. Yeah, okay. Um. What's this one? I see it. Um, okay. What do you mean? I guess you weren't there, Clover, but I saw the puzzle like this in the wheelhouse. I think I just need to do the same thing here. Same thing. Yeah, I have to match up the nautical table. Okay. Yes. Yes. Let's do this. So where do we start then? Where do we start? Here? South. Let me write this down because I'm not going to be able to look at this while I'm doing it, I bet, because why the fuck would you? I start there, so. South. West. It's like southeast. Northeast. East. Oh, sorry. East. Um. North. East. Cool. Got him. Let's see now. If I can type that in. Off. Oh, okay. So we got south. Whoa, nope, nope. Fuck. I don't have to reset it. No, I know how to do it. I just don't know, like, if I stop on the wrong thing, if it'll, like, I don't know. Let's try to see that. Oh, shit, sorry. So let's go south. Boop. West. I, did I not stop it there? Oh my god. Hello? What the fuck? Okay. South. West. Now we're gonna do southeast. Oh fuck. Stop. Oh my god. I'm really insane here. I don't know if I need to back up every time. Okay. Mm Do this again. South. Fuck me, I guess. I click too aggressively. South. Uh, west. Southeast. To be here. Oh my god, did I not stop? Why? Why did I skip? That's so annoying. Oh. Oh, god, piss, dude. Lose my mind here. South. West. Did this stop like before the southeast data stop? Like southeast. Now I do northeast. And then just east. North. Then east. If this doesn't work, I scream. Go. Holy shit. I'm streaming like a fucking dog right now. The hell? Okay. Thank fucking god. They're noise too. 
I made a noise, made a noise, made a noise, made a noise. There's a noise. There's a noise. Cheer the noise, there's a noise. What had the noise though? Is it a box near the entrance? I don't know what she's talking about. What what had a noise? I'm so stupid. Oh there we go, that. Okay. Next puzzle. Whoa, okay. Open up. Whoa! No way. Dude, this is what we've been waiting for. This is the only thing I'm excited about in this game. A coffin there. A coffin. A coffin. Oh man, does Seven think? Yeah, he's all pale. He's thinking the same thing I am. No way. Could this be? I'm sorry, but what's going on? It's a coffin! I wonder if there's a vampire in it. Right, I guess Clover and Snake don't know the story. Man, I can't bring myself to tell them. Well, at any rate, let's have a look around. The metal plaque of coffin. Snake's touching it. All ice. Ah, the two machines. Holy shit. Man, this is serious. Ah, well, let's open it, shall we? Clover, if you give me a hand... Okay, I got it. We're ready. Three, two, one. Ha. No luck. It doesn't seem to be ready to open. Yeah, but it's not like it's screwed shut or something. Yes, we believe it's locked in some other way. Hey, Seven, you think you could open it with your superhuman strength? N no, uh, what's wrong? I think I'll just pass on this one, okay? What the heck? Very well. We'll just have to give up on the coffin for now. Let's look around the room a little more, shall we? Alice sleeps in a small chamber past the Forge of Knowledge, beneath the navel of the Gigantic. Is that actually true? So, wait. Have we done this one yet? Whoa. What is this? Oh, yeah. The Morse code thing, yeah. Two dots on the first line, four in the second, one on the last. Alright, I'll try before I do that though. Yeah, I ought to run through the instructions. If I just tap the button, it'll enter a dit. If I hold the button down, it'll enter a da. Once we enter our answer, it'll automatically determine if it was the correct answer or not. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> 